open up the terminal and type this command followed by this command which will add a spacer to your dock that you can use to separate apps from each other and if you decide to get rid of it simply drag the empty space into the trash can. Instead of right clicking on the trash can and then empty bin press command shift backspace and hit enter to quickly empty your trash can. Maybe you don't want things to end up in the trash can in the first place. Press command option delete and you'll permanently delete them right away. Now hold down control and click on the top of your Safari browser for a hidden customized toolbar menu. Here you'll be able to drag out unused Safari extensions and also add all these buttons to your toolbar like history for example if you want to quickly access and delete it. Also pinch your trackpad with two fingers just like zooming out and you'll see all of your open Safari tabs in this iPhone style format. Moving over to the thing that we all couldn't live without and that's Wi-Fi. To check up on your Wi-Fi speed open the terminal and type in network quality with a capital Q which will display your current internet upload and download speeds. What's also useful is if you frequently install or uninstall apps instead of going to the applications folder from finder you can come to your desktop and press command shift a alternatively you can also click go and choose applications or even faster hold down command and click on any app in your dock of course if you've installed something from the app store directly you can uninstall it from the launch pad by clicking on the app and holding it until you see an X appear on the icon. But before we get ahead of ourselves with more advanced tips and tricks, let's start with the basics. In system preferences, choose accessibility, display, pointer and here you can pick out a custom color and size for your mouse pointer. While you're still here, click zoom choose advanced and in the controls tab select use trackpad gesture to zoom. Now when you double click with three fingers on your trackpad and drag up or down you'll be able to zoom in anywhere. It's also possible to come up to your control center and drag any of the icons from here into the menu bar so they become visible at all times. It works the other way around by holding command and dragging the icon out. It's also not a a surprise that your memory sometimes sucks. So if you forgot a shortcut you can click help and type in something that you want to do and once you hover over that action your MacBook will show you the keyboard shortcut. Now perhaps you want to have more than one window of your browser open. To do that open up a new tab and drag it out. When in Safari drag the URL of any website to your desktop and you'll be able to quote unquote download Download it as a separate app or a URL shortcut to be more precise. Right now the shortcut looks ugly but if you right click and select get info you can drag any image onto the HTTP icon and replace it. This new shortcut can also be added to your dock. The same thing can be achieved in some websites with Google Chrome by clicking the download app icon. It's also not a surprise that you can't cut files on Mac by pressing command S like you would on Windows. So instead what you can do is hit command plus C then command option V to move a file to a different location without having to drag it over there. When in Finder you can drag your frequently used folders into the sidebar or drag anything that you don't want out of it. Now if you click enter on any selected file you'll be able to instantly rename it. What's even better is if you select multiple files that then right click and choose rename, you'll be able to rename all of them at once based on the rules you create. For instance, you can replace text in this case, I'll change the word screenshot into 69. Or you can also add text before or after the current name of the file and even generate completely new file names in the format option. When using virtual desktops, you can switch between them not only by swiping with three fingers on your trackpad, but also holding control and hitting either right or left arrow keys. This is very handy when using your Mac in 
clamshell mode with an external monitor. Moving over to window management where you can hold shift to resize an app by keeping its aspect ratio or hold option to resize it from the center. Combining the two keys will apply both effects. Quickly tapping twice on the title bar of any app will make it go full screen assuming you have this enabled in the settings. And of course, I wasn't able to fit all of the best Mac tips there are into this one video. That's why here are two more that will increase your productivity by 10, maybe even 100 times.